The Grey Jedi were described by both the Sith and the Jedi as Force users who walked the fine line between the peace and harmony of the light side and the power and passion of the dark. This group of Grey Jedi were not actually part of the Jedi Order and distanced themselves from the teachings of the Jedi Code and the Orders of the Jedi High Council. They were also shunned by the Sith because of their overuse of the light side of the Force and their lack of ruthlessness. So what exactly is a Grey Jedi and was Ahsoka one of them? But before we get started, remember to leave a like, subscribe and comment on the video, it really helps the channel grow so we can produce a lot more great content just like this. Grey Jedi called upon the dark side of the Force but did not allow themselves to be corrupted by it or embrace it any further than necessary. While they did not adhere directly to the teachings of the light side of the Force, they were free from the corruption of the dark and made use of its benefits. Only a select few Force users had the stability and strength to not allow their consumption by the dark side of the Force. Some Jedi held strong beliefs against the Grey Jedi believing that their use of the dark side would eventually become too overbearing and corrupt their minds. The Jedi Council itself did not outright punish Grey Jedi but it did not condone them either. Their sheer power forced the Jedi Council to accept the existence of this group of Force users or risk losing their position of dominance. The Grey Jedi also displayed combat techniques and Force abilities from both the dark side and the light side of the Force as well as the Sith and the Jedi. Many were capable of utilising both light side mind tricks taught by the Jedi and dark side lightning taught by the Sith. On top of this, a select few were able to maintain their light side abilities but utilise the deep dark side ability of force healing as described by Palpatine. These few pushed the dark side to its fullest extent without crossing over into full corruption. Even the slightest imbalance in these select few would cause their downfall and consumption by the dark side of the force. The Grey Jedi were capable of masking their presence in the Force, protecting themselves from both the Jedi and the Sith in times of vulnerability. Furthermore, the Grey Jedi discovered a unique Force ability that only they could use, finely balanced between the light side and the dark side. This ability allowed them to throw small objects through the Force at near lethal velocities with the potential to stun or even kill its target. They also studied the abilities of self-levitation, telekinesis and other dark side mind tricks like the mind reading seen by Kylo Ren in The Force Awakens. The Grey Jedi used this dark side mind trick to further their light side goals, maintaining their delicate balance in the Force. The term Grey Jedi, however, is not always used to refer to Force users who balance both the light side and the dark side, but also those who go against the teachings of the Jedi High Council. The practice dated back to the days of the Old Republic where the Jedi Council attempted to centralise its power in the temple on Coruscant. Those who did not agree with this decision or the consolidation of power by the Jedi Council were labelled as Grey Jedi. Those who constantly clashed with the teachings of the Council but did not necessarily take part in use of the Dark Side were also considered Grey Jedi. Master Qui-Gon Jinn was a prime example of someone who was considered a modern day Grey Jedi. His teachings and beliefs went against those of the High Council, even though he held the same opinions on the Dark Side as the Council. His belief of the Chosen One prophecy and the bringing of balance to the Force is what earned him this label. So does Ahsoka meet any of these two definitions for the term Grey Jedi? The answer is yes. She was expelled from the Jedi Order after being framed for the murder of a prisoner and multiple clones. Although she was later exonerated of these crimes, her faith in the Jedi was permanently damaged, leading to her leaving the Order. She no longer conforms to the teachings of the Jedi Council but does not show any attunement with the Dark Side of the Force. She continues to live her life by the teachings of the Light Side of the Force, but not necessarily the teachings of the Jedi. She will never let herself be corrupted or consumed by the Dark Side of the Force. This does make her a Grey Jedi but not in the traditional sense of the term and she is certainly not a user of dark side abilities. That's all for today, if you enjoyed the video remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe and thanks for watching. We've got more awesome content like this coming very soon so I hope to see you then, cheers guys.